Hi. In this video we'll go over the plant performance, a new report available in the Insights feature. With this report growers get a clear overview of their entire farm operation and can quickly compare their plot's performance, in terms of stress, irrigation, fruit size and other parameters. Let's see how it works. On the top of the screen use the filters to choose the area, crop, variety, planting year or plot you want to focus on. You can also select a specific time. The first report is the plant growth which displays the total growth during the selected time period. Hovering on a plot opens its daily growth data. The black dotted line represents the average growth across all plots. Choosing a specific variety, we can see the growth distribution across the field. By default, the table presents the highest growing plots first. Each row shows all other parameters, planting year, irrigation, stress days, average fruit growth, etc. The icon next to the fruit size column indicates how it is compared to the fruit target size trajectory and objectives that were set by the grower. You can also see the daily soil moisture, a 7-day average soil moisture and the 7-day soil trend which can be accumulation, constant or depletion. The last column on the right shows low pressure days for each plot in the selected time period. Clicking on a specific plot name takes you to the specific plot's overview on the web app. Next, you can see the plant status for each plot. Hovering on the plus icon opens the daily plant status and MDS data for the specific plot. The irrigation tab shows on the left the amount applied, and on the right indicates whether the amount was low, high or average as compared to Phytex irrigation recommendation. Again, hovering on a specific plot opens its daily irrigation data. To focus on a plot just click on the column or on the specific location on the map. The table below will change accordingly. You can also choose certain plots by marking them together using the cursor. In this example the table now shows only plots that are above the average. Next, the soil tab displays the last day soil moisture readings, a 7 day average, or the 7 days trend. In this example, clicking on the leftmost column shows an accumulation trend on the map as indicated by the blue color. The right column plot is in a constant trend. If we choose a 14 days time period, we can see that indeed the soil moisture increased which corresponds to the accumulation trend. On the fruit size tab, hover on a plot to see the daily fruit size data and how it is compared to the target curve. Similarly, the fruit growth tab displays daily fruit growth for each plot and on hovering you can see how the growth is performing compared to the average across all plots. This is an opportunity to remind you that all the data can be exported. Hover on the right corner of the graphs, click on the three dots for more options and choose export data. Similarly, you can export the table's data by hovering on its right corner. Another important feature for fruit growers is the fruit benchmark which compares the plot's fruit size and growth to an average regional benchmark. Hovering on a specific column shows the size and growth as compared to the black line benchmark. On the right you can see the average size of the specific variety compared to the regional average size of this variety or change to the fruit growth tab. You can also hide the data on the map and get the satellite view to help you identify growth issues in the area. That's it. You're good to grow. For more videos please visit us at www.fitech.com.